Hi, today I wanted to do a half-life problem with you, um, just because I think they're a little bit complex and this might help kind of clear things up. So this problem says, after 77 seconds, 19.0% of NO2 has decomposed to NO and O2. What is the half-life of this reaction, assuming second order kinetics? So there's a lot of things going on in this problem that you kind of have to sort through in order to solve it. So let's first kind of think of the chemistry that's going on. So we have NO2 that's decomposing to NO plus O2. Okay, so these are all gases. Right, and then we want to look and check the balancing. So here we've got two O's, here we've got two O's, we've got an N and an O. So let's put a two in the front of each of these, and now we've got a balanced reaction. Okay, so I always just like to balance it at the very beginning. And so the second thing says, okay, we're looking for the half-life. So that means we're looking for the amount of time it takes, right? So we're going to look for a number in seconds that this reaction, the, the concentration of the reactants, or NO2, um, cuts in half. And so this also tells us that this is second order kinetics. Okay, so with second order kinetics, I know that I have a half-life formula that's equal to one over K times the concentration of A initial. Okay, so I know that half-life. The second thing I know is the actual integrated rate law for that. So because it's a second order, I go one over the concentration of A, or our reactant, at some time equals a positive KT plus one over the concentration of A initial. Okay? So because this says second order kinetics, I automatically know this equation for half-life and this equation that's the integrated rate law. Okay, so this says that after 77 seconds, so our reaction that takes place goes 77 seconds, 19% of the NO2 has decomposed. Okay, so let's say, let's just change colors because we're talking about something different. Let's say that I have something that's 100 molar, okay? So after that 77 seconds, 19% of that is decomposed. So if I lose that 19%, that means I have 81 molar remaining. Okay, and so you can think of this in like moles, per liter. Um, I think it's just easier if we aren't given like an initial amount that we use 100, especially if we're using percentages. Okay. And I know some people like to do um, decimals. So you could say one versus 0 0.8 molar, but I like to use these, these bigger numbers. So I'm going to say 100 molar of NO2 after 77 77 seconds, since 19% of that's decomposed, so we subtract 19, that means I have 81 molar that's remaining. Okay, so because of that, this is my initial concentration, and this is my concentration at time t, which is the 77 seconds. Okay, so in order to solve for half-life, what I need to do is first figure out what that K is, right? So I'm solving for this. I know this number, that initial number, but I don't know K. And so that's where this integrated rate law comes in. So very first thing I'm going to do is solve for K using this integrated rate law. And then once I have the value for K, I'm going to put that in to my half-life formula. Okay, so let's look at that. So let's go ahead and do the math for this. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is I'm going to solve for k, that rate constant, using the integrated rate law. So I have 1 over the concentration of A at a specific time equals positive KT plus 1 over the concentration of A initial. Okay, so concentration at specific time, that's after 19% decomposes, so that's going to be 81 molar. This number is going to be our 100 molar. Like I said, we just made this up because we just know that 19% decompose. And then the amount of time it takes is 77 seconds. Okay, so we're going to put these numbers in this rate law. So 1 over 81 molar equals K times 77 seconds plus 1 over 100 molar. Okay, so 1 minus 81, 1 over 81 molar minus 1 over 100 molar equals K times 77 seconds. I'm going to divide by 77, and I get a value for K, okay? So K is going to equal... So I get a K value that is 0 0.0000305. I look at my units, 1 over molar over second, which is 1 over molar times second, which is my second order units. Okay, so that K value makes sense. The question asks us, what is the half-life? Okay, so I need to go back now to the half-life problem, use this K that I find, and plug that into the equation. So, second step is to use the half-life equation. So, time one-half equals one over K times the concentration of the reactants with the initial concentration, okay? So remember, this is our reactant, so concentration of NO2 initially. I'm looking for, I'm looking for the um, half-life, so that's gonna equal one over that K value I just found, which is 0 0.0000305, remember that's one over molarity second, times the concentration of A, or the concentration of NO2 initially, which remember, we just said that it was 100 molar. So molarities cancel, I have my seconds on the bottom. When I do this, I'm going to have my seconds on the top. So 1 divided by 0 0.0000305 times 100, or I guess divided by 100, equals 328 seconds. So the half-life for this problem is 328 seconds, which makes sense because after 77 seconds, 19% decomposed. That rate's going to slow down a little bit as more of the reactant gets used up. Okay. We can double check this number by um, going back to the rate law equation, the integrated rate law equation, but I think for now we'll just stop here. Hopefully that helps you figure out how to calculate a half-life.